Well, on this Friday, there's a couple things to note. We do have some wind gusts this evening causing a wind advisory. Wind speeds up to 30 to 40 miles per hour to keep note. Tonight, we will also have some isolated showers, especially up in higher elevations. Possibility of thunderstorms again, very slight chance. We got sunshine, though, in store for the rest of the weekend. Now tonight again, this wind advisory does expire by 9 p.m., but we're going to clock winds about 30 to 40 miles per hour, potentially up to 50 miles per hour, really around Boise and Twin Falls, where both those areas are going to be seeing that action this evening. It will dissipate, though, by tomorrow. Now tomorrow again, we will see some wind left over in the morning, especially sweeping south over Magic Valley. But after that, it's really going to clear up by Sunday. We're going to see a lot of sunshine on Sunday with some isolated cloud cover here and there. But most of that cloud cover will be on Saturday and not on Sunday. A quick, we crap, a quick recap of your weather. 60 degrees tomorrow will be our high. Very nice in the Treasure Valley Saturday. And then on Sunday, we'll get even more sunshine and even higher temperatures, 65 degrees. Now tomorrow, again, sunshine shine a light breeze 60 degrees in Nampa tomorrow 62 degrees in Emmett we'll see some sunshine um, pretty much throughout the day 60 degrees in Cuna we'll have some isolated uh, cloud cover tomorrow though but most of it really will dissipate by Sunday 53 degrees tomorrow in Idaho City up north McCall 47 degrees we'll have a slight chance of some evening showers tomorrow up there in McCall and Long Valley with 52 degrees in Fairfield tomorrow, a light breeze, but most of that wind is really going to hit this evening and not tomorrow. Now for the next seven days, you'll see that we do have some pretty warm temperatures in store. By the time we hit Monday, we're going to have 73 degrees as our high 65 degrees on Tuesday. It's going to drop down a little bit with a cool front that's going to head this way, bringing us a little bit of precipitation, 20% chance. Now these temperatures are quite warm, so we might see a warm up of some of our, our uh, river and uh, stream systems and overnight temperatures stay pretty warm too. So definitely maybe a good time to start gardening as those temperatures aren't cold enough to freeze um, over the next seven days. But again, we're going to see a lot of sunshine, a little bit of cloud cover, 64 degrees on Wednesday, Thursday, 61. And then we're going to drop down to a mild 58 degrees as our high on Friday with a 20% chance of precipitation. Now these temperatures are around average for this time of year. 63 degrees is the average average for Saturday and Friday. The average is 69. So we're really hovering around those average time temperatures for this time of year.